The story of Pompeii haunts many people's imaginations, largely because of images like this. People buried in ash, their terror frozen in time. Pompeii director Paul Anderson visited the ancient city and saw the plaster casts firsthand. There are these two intertwined bodies and the lovers are kind of just looking at one another. And that for me was very emotional and uh, that was really the basis of the entire movie. In addition to a love story, the movie is also a feast for the eyes of moviegoers and scientists, including volcano expert Rosalie Lopez and archaeologist Sarah Yeomans. I think they did a wonderful job uh, recreating the city from the archaeological site. Well, I think this is the kind of movie that 3D was really invented for. You want to be immersed in this kind of ancient civilization and, and the sheer spectacle of it. 3D also captures the spectacle of the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, especially the spewing of these firebombs. But that didn't actually happen, says Lopez, though pumice, ash and rocks did rain down on the city. The film also features earthquakes and even a tsunami. Those did happen, Lopez says, though the tsunami was not really this big. She notes those who live near Mount Vesuvius these days would not be caught off guard. We now have a lot of early warning systems because volcanoes don't erupt without some precursor sign. And Vesuvius could erupt again. Uh, Vesuvius does has smaller eruptions, so it doesn't mean that it would be as bad as it was back then. Filmmakers also portray the politics at the time embodied by ruthless Romans. The Pompeians did not unilaterally consider themselves to be Romans. Uh, they were brought involuntarily into the expanding empire. We find freedom, my friend. The desire for freedom is a theme that echoes throughout the film, says Adewale Akinoye Agbaje. He plays the gladiator and slave Atticus and friend of the main character Milo, played by Kit Harrington. Freedom and equality which is timeless, you know, and I think we all still strive for that today. In his personal life, this British actor of Nigerian descent also struggled with the freedom to choose his own career. Um, I studied law, actually, as a first profession. Um, have a bachelor's and master's degree in law. Ed entertainment was not a credible profession to my parents' generation. And they, it was, you know, they, they, they thought I was wasting my education. And, uh, but they came around. It, it came full circle and it paid off. Plus, I've played a few lawyers as well. <laughs> in preparing for the film, Akinoye Agbaje and Harrington underwent grueling physical training to look like real gladiators. While Hollywood may have used some creative license in Pompeii, the experts say it does give audiences a good idea of what was happening with the volcano and what life was like before Vesuvius destroyed the city. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.